Yo, what's up? I'm Nick from Biogear. Finally accumulated all the Toomey Esports bags. I just had a really strong attraction to them, so I decided to pick up all the pieces myself. And uh, they're nice, so let's get into it. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Toomey Esports Pro Large Backpack. This is a big backpack, so it demands its own review. So I'm gonna end up clearing off the desk. We're gonna just talk about this one only for today. All right, so the Toomey Esports Pro Large Backpack is definitely like the super tanker of the backpacks in Toomey's Esports lineup. This sucker has a very large amount of space. Uh, it is eight inches deep as well, and separated laptop compartment, folds out. Everything on this bag is very structured around having a lot of space and a lot of utility with either a gaming laptop, I use this for camera setup and everything too, but it's just very well built bag, very structured. As you can see, it's really good at holding its shape. And that's something I just love about it. There's a lot of solid panels in this bag. Uh, it's very multi-purpose. So getting into one of the main features of this bag is definitely gonna be the main compartment. Uh, two smooth zippers. It does have these side webbing straps here. So that way you can lock this into place if you only want it to go down a set position. But this bag has a freaking shelf in it. It has a literal folding shelf. So you can put all kinds of goodies in here. That shelf does tuck and actually have a clip. So if you want to, you can clip it closed and use it as full space. But there is a nice generous sized shelf inside this bag. So lots of just space. I mean, like I said, I throw camera in here. I throw a microphone and everything else I need if I want to carry all my camera gear. Um, I can't even fill this thing up when I'm carrying my PC setup because I, I've got a Razer Blade 14 and that's just a 14 inch laptop. But this bag can, needless to say, absorb all kinds of gear. If you're one of those people that does carry like a mini ITX PC and a 17 inch laptop screen that you can carry around and put around in here, this is definitely a good setup. So anyway, back to the main compartment. You do have the folding shelf. It does clip close. So when you are done using your shelf, let's see if I can get this from the other side, you can tuck it away and it's out of the way now. Um, on this inside panel too, there are two pockets that do accordion a little bit. They do have a little bit of space here with this extra flap so it can get much fatter. Um, there are two zippered pockets as well. And that's about it for the main compartment. It's very spacious, not super pocket or anything. Start the zippers at the top position. As I mentioned earlier, there's the webbing. So if you want a fixed access point, you can absolutely do that. Also, as usual, there is a Toomey tracing number so you can find your bag later if you do lose it, hopefully. All right, so pass that on the front compartment. There is one more pocket here. It is seamed at the middle, but the whole bottom is available. You could throw all kinds of stuff in here. I don't recommend it. It's just gonna make the bag look sloppy, but if you wanna just drop something in there, like some cables or something, that's an option as well. Top pocket on this bag is also quite nice. It does have that beautiful quilted material inside of it. There are two tablet pencil or regular pen holders. Um, it doesn't go super deep at the front. There's kind of like a shelf here, but it does tuck way down in the back. It's hard to kind of show this on camera, but you can actually like stuff a tablet in here or something. It's just kind of janky and it does get into the middle pocket a little bit. So you gotta be careful with that. Also in this top compartment, if you do fish your zipper through this little loop here, it does operate as more or less like an anti-theft, hard to get into op option on the bag, I guess. Okay, so side pockets on this bag do have double zippers. One side is pretty plain and does have a key loop on it. These panels right here are not soft. These are very rigid panels. There is like plastic or something that this is this material is wrapped in and it's it's a it's a very hard pocket, that is for sure. So glasses are gonna love it in here, that's for sure. Also on the inside of these side pockets, there is a very good quality webbing pocket as well. So power adapters and stuff are very happy in that. On the other side pocket though, you do have your spot for your luggage tag as well as a USB port. So if you do decide to keep a power adapter inside here, like a power bank, you can plug into the side of your bag and not have to go inside. That's a, an option for people that use it. I typically don't, but um, maybe I should try using it more. My phone's just never dead. Inside that side pocket though, you will find another nice webbing pocket inside here as well. Same quilting material on the side. There's also USB cord that attaches to that power adapter. So it's a USB A, you will just drop your power adapter in here, plug the USB A cable into that power adapter and you're live from the side of the bag. Okay, so I'm a very big fan of the laptop compartment on this backpack. It does have its own nice separate space and there is a spot for a tablet in here as well that is padded. Once again, the Toomey's using this beautiful new eSports quilted material. I absolutely love it. There is great padding on the top and bottoms and sides of this bag. So definitely not an issue to put your, your beloved expensive laptop in here. Um, the only problem I have with this laptop compartment is that this envelope for the laptop, it's 
frankly not as big as the bag is, so 17 inch laptop options just really don't fit. And that's kind of a disappointment in a bag this big. This is practically a 17 plus inch backpack, laptop backpack. But because of the way that this is made, you can really only fit like the smallest versions of 17 inch laptops, such as the Razer Blade 17, the uh, Acer Zephyrus S17, that new Zephyrus that has the, the folding keyboard and stuff. It's very slim, so that could fit in here, but Overall, there's hardly any 17 inch laptops and Alienware will not fit in this thing if it's a 17 inch as well. So be careful of that. Other than that though, the new 15, 16 inch laptops that are coming out in the market that have really small screen bezels, you're gonna love it using this bag or something like that. Finally, moving on, there is a zipper around the side of this bag that if you go all the way around, you do have an expansion. Now that expansion on this bag really only kind of works inside the laptop compartment. So I don't quite see a good use for this in, in a sense because the laptop compartment really, in my opinion, needs to be reserved for the laptop if you care to protect your laptop. But I guess if you're trying to squish something else in there, maybe you have like a portable second display, it'll fit once this is in there. It does give you a generous amount more, amount more room inside the main compartment, but this is kind of like a use at your own risk type thing. I wouldn't throw like a full size keyboard in there or anything because that kind of just doesn't seem right for protecting your device and throwing something massive in there, but it's there. It's, it's an option if you want to use it. Okay, so smaller features on this bag that you can look forward to and enjoy. Handles are super nice. I really love the handles on this bag. It does have your typical to me hidden cell phone or wallet or cash pocket in the back between the back strap and the handle. Straps on this thing are incredible. I love this eSport thin strap that's well padded. It's so comfortable, especially riding my motorcycle and stuff too. Very comfortable bag. I mean, these eSports bags are probably the only bags that have better straps than their Alpha Bravo line, in my opinion. I love the Alpha Bravo lines. They're a little fatter around though, but these are nice and thin and super comfortable. I love these straps. Same goes with the back padding though as well. You got good padding here. I love the design. It's just got this really nice techy look to it. Still got your luggage passed through as well. So if you do want to set this on the handlebar of your, uh, your rolling suitcase, you can do that. And I think that pretty much wraps up the Tumi Esports Pro Large Backpack. Absolutely incredible backpack. It is very big, but if you like carrying a lot of stuff or you have to carry a lot of stuff, this is just insane. It's a really good bag. Price point on this bag is quite expensive though. So if you're willing to shell out the money to afford a Tumi bag, I mean, you get a five year warranty right off the bat. These things last years more than that as well. And they're just awesome bags. I've thoroughly enjoyed all my Tumi bags and highly recommend them. So yeah, hopefully you found this review helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, I'm gonna be doing more of these bags in the future anyway, if you're interested, check them all out. I also do a lot of technology videos and stuff and I'm very new to YouTube. So I appreciate your support. Thank you for tuning in. You guys have a good one.